Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to practice standing poses. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video is available. Let's step the feet together. Be in Tadasana, mountain pose. Activate the front thighs, quadriceps, by gently pressing thigh bones back. Then press the buttocks forward so you activate the pelvic abdominal lift. Pubis to navel up. Stretch down through straight arms to your fingertips. As we proceed with our standing pose sequence, we can choose to either jump between the poses, in and out of the poses, or step. If you've got ankle, knee, hip, lower back, problems, if you're pregnant or menstruating, it's suggested to step the legs wide. Let's take the arms and legs wide. Inhale, exhale. Set your feet underneath your hands. For Trikonasana, turn your feet to the right. Right thigh turning out. Inhale, exhale. Over the right leg, hand to shin, Squeeze the right buttock forward to help lift the navel up. Pubis to navel up, navel turns to the ceiling as you look up. Stretch and reach through your top arm, left arm, and rotate the left side chest up to the ceiling. All the while, plug the outer left heel into the floor. Inhale, stand up. Turn your feet all the way to the left side. Left thigh turning out. Keep the grip of the kneecaps. Inhale, exhale, over the left leg, hand to shin. Squeeze the left buttock forward. Maintain the turnout of the left thigh. And as you squeeze the left buttock forward, zip the navel up. Pubis to navel lifting, navel turning to the ceiling. As you look up, reach through your right hand, your right arm to the ceiling, rotate the right side chest up and plug firmly the outer right heel. Inhale, stand up, feet to the front. We jump or step back in. Legs together, Tadasana, mountain pose. Keep the thighs firmly activated, kneecaps are gripping, thigh muscles firm. The action of pressing thighs back, buttocks forward, maintaining this lower abdominal lift. Chest broad. Let's jump or step wide again, inhale. Exhale, set your feet underneath your hands. Turn your feet to the right again. We move through Trikonasana to Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. If you have blocks, have your block ready at the right side of the mat. Inhale, exhale to Trikonasana. The left hand can sit on the waist. It's helpful to look down towards the floor, towards your right foot, as you bend the knee, we'll take the block, reach the block forward, hop the back foot in and stabilize your balance. You can keep looking at the floor at this stage. Keep the right side turning out, kneecap facing the same direction as the toes, and raise the back leg. As you raise the back leg, lift the muscles of the inner thigh up into the thigh bone, and lengthen through the inner foot. Inner foot lengthens away from the groin. Turn the chest up. Not only are you turning this right side chest up, but you're intending to spin the left armpit chest forward. Top arm can go up. Maintaining steady balance, set your gaze. When the eyes are fixed, that can help with your balance. To come out of the pose, let's bend the right knee, lower the left toes to the floor. 
Stabilize your balance. Slide the left leg back, come through Trikonasana. Inhale, stand up. Turn your feet, left side. We'll move through Trikonasana. Inhale, exhale, Trikonasana. Rest the right hand on your waist. Look down at your left foot. This may help with your balance as you're coming into the pose. Bend the left knee. If you're using a block, reach your block forward as you hop the back leg in. So you're shortening your stance. Stay here while you find your balance. Raise the back leg up and lengthen through the inner leg to the inner foot. See, can you keep this left thigh turning out? Press the left buttock forward. Draw the tailbone towards the right heel. Top arm up. Turn the right side chest up to the ceiling and spin the left armpit chest forward. To come out of the pose, bend the left knee, lower the right toes to the floor, stabilize there. Then slide the right leg back, come to Trikonasana. Inhale as you stand up. Turn your feet to the front, jump or step back in. Tadasana. Establish steady breath, steady pose and allow the mind to settle into that steadiness. Let's move on to Virabhadrasana 2, warrior pose 2. Inhale, exhale, arms and legs wide. Turn your feet to the right side. Keep the right pelvic bone lifted away from the thigh. Inhale, bend the right knee as you exhale, grip the buttocks, press the buttocks forward and maintain the lift through the right side pelvis. Right pelvic bone lifting up, right knee pressing back, buttocks forward. Feel as if you're trying to press both knees away from each other and go on anchoring through the back heel. Cast your gaze along the right fingertips. Roll both shoulders back and down. Stand up, inhale, turn your feet, left side. Inhale, bend the left knee as you exhale. Keep the knee traveling the same direction as the toes, so you're not allowing the knee to roll forward. Press the buttocks forward and maintain the lift through the left pelvic bone. Work back through the right thigh and shin and plug the outer heel to the floor. As you stretch out to the fingertips, roll the shoulders back and down. Cast your gaze along the left hand. Breathe steadily. Stand up, inhale. Turn your feet. We jump or step back in. Tadasana. Find stability in your pose, steadiness in your breath. Notice if there's any tendency to fuss and fidget. See if you can bring the legs together, stay still and steady. Set your gaze, eyes at eye level. Soften your gaze. Now, Pajvokanasana, lateral angle pose. Inhale, exhale, arms and legs wide. Turn your feet to the right side. If you're using blocks, let's already place our block behind the outer edge of the right foot. Press into the outer left heel, inhale, bend the right knee as you exhale and keep pressing into the outer left heel. 
There's a feeling of restraining and resisting the inner left thigh away from the bend of the right knee. Keep that, inhale, exhale, reach over, hand to the block. Top arm up to the vertical and go on resisting the inner left thigh away from the bend of the right knee as you then look up and take your top arm over to the diagonal. If your shoulder gets stuck, it's hard to move the arm, sweep your arm forward and around. Just be sure to turn the chest back up towards the ceiling. Left side chest turns up, inner left thigh lifts into the thigh bone, front left thigh presses into the thigh bone, outer left heel into the floor. Inhale as you stand up. Let's put this block back. And as we turn our feet to the left side, place your block behind the outer left foot. Plug the outer right heel into the floor. Inhale, bend the left knee, but go on resisting the inner right thigh away from the bend of the knee. Maintain that, inhale, exhale, fold over, hand to block. Pin this left knee back to your arm, press the hips, the buttocks forward, but restrain the right thigh back. Go on plugging the outer right heel to the floor as you take your top arm over to the diagonal. Remember, if your shoulder feels a bit stuck, take your arm forward and around. Reinforce the lift of the right side chest as you look up and go on pinning the left knee back to your arm. Inhale, stand up. Let's move this block back off the mat. Turn your feet. Jump or step, arms and legs back to Tadasana. Legs together, be in Tadasana. Steady your breath, steady your gaze, steady your posture. Let's now do Uttanasana to rest the head, rest the heart. If you feel stiff in the lower back or the hamstrings, use two blocks, one under each hand. Endeavour to keep the legs straight, lengthen the sternum forward. If you don't have problems in the lower back, your hamstrings are amenable, you can do away with the blocks and fold more deeply into the pose, catch your elbows, drape the arms down, lengthen the torso down. Note, we don't want the weight dropping heavily back into the heels. Bring some weight forward into the balls of the feet so your hip sockets are sitting vertically top the ankles. Consciously slow your breath down. Notice the heart rate slow down. To come out of the pose, place your hands on the waist, roll the shoulder tips back, raise the head up, feel the blood drain from the head back to the heart, keep your spine straight, keep the legs straight, kneecaps gripped, inhale, stand all the way up, shoulder tips back, tailbone down. That's it for today. If you're keen, you can go ahead and repeat this practice. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me.